first question that I have is um, tell us a little bit more about Trophy Skin and the business model and, and what you guys do online. Absolutely. So we are a high tech uh, beauty company. We design our own devices. And what we do is we take kind of the common trends, the trends in beauty and device, the services that you would get at the spa. And we make those um, devices that you could use at home then and um, carry that service from there without having to go into the spa. And Prior to COVID, we were considered more of a luxury item. Not everybody um, purchased our service. And then once the spas and everything shut down, it became more of a necessity. Like we have to have, you have to have that treatment now. You can't get to your spa to get the microderm abrasion treatment done. And um, so it, we went from being a luxury item to an essential item practically mm -hmm. overnight. And um, so we, but our passion is designing those, taking those services that you would pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for and making them um, accessible to everyone to use at home. Yeah. And and we've seen that trend in other industri industries too, especially with, um, if you're familiar with Peloton. Yes. Um, the bikes at home, they skyrocketed in sales too, simply because everyone wants to have that comfort in their home now instead of having to trek somewhere that's closed because of covid so exactly exactly yeah. um so then obviously uh, we're, we're moving on to the next question which is uh, you guys have your own um commerce uh store online um but uh the systems that we worked with were ShipStation and commerce Hub. So a little bit more about how you utilize those two uh platforms Yes, so we just started doing business with Costco. We have had previously had a relationship with Commerce Hub with QVC. Um, and so then we brought on this relationship with Costco. In the first round, the first sale we did, um, we manually processed all of those orders. So it was a matter of going into Commerce Hub, copying and pasting that information and putting it into our system so that it could then go into ShipStation. Um, and then through that process, we were told, you know, you could automate this with eBridge. And so that's what brought us to you guys but uh, it's a new relationship and the first the first round was wildly successful and i said mm -hmm. listen if we're going to do another round there's no way i can process 1200 orders manually again so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> we are and, and especially if you're on qvc uh because right now the holiday season's coming up so if, if qvc is down the pipeline then that would be a, a good next step i would say and they are they actually we yeah. have them um they we run them through a different 3pl that's partners mm -hmm. with and stuff but yeah it, it absolutely just changed was a game changer for the relationship mm -hmm. with Costco yeah so I'm glad you're enjoying uh, the solution that we provide right now um, and just a little bit more about how you found working with our uh, implementation team and, and uh, initially our, our sales team as well sales team was great he had actually I felt really bad he had reached out previously and I was like oh somebody else trying to sell me something like I'm too busy to even do demos like I just don't mm -hmm. have the time for it and so I had totally blown him off in the very first <laughs> yeah. and I was like we have our own thing set up it's fine we don't need this and um and then the sec then once I was like well how can I get this to go and I just was not even because originally the first contact was more about getting it into our ERP and we were like we already have that solution it's it's the shipping piece of it and mm -hmm. so then he was like oh wait actually we like we do ship station that's I was looking for the the ship station link and then it brought us full circle and I had a little egg on my face I am so sorry I didn't give you the time of the day uh, but he forgave quickly and we were off and, and running he introduced me to Natalie and Natalie was the only person I've had in contact since then um, like mm -hmm. she handled everything all the way through and I have to say like I was hoping I would have this opportunity um, to, to glow on her it, it was a phenomenal mm -hmm. experience working with her I do a lot with several um, integrations we have a lot of different things that run in the background and mm -hmm. by far Natalie was the best integration and implementation that that i have ever had um, yeah. she was i am i don't have a whole lot of time and so she was just like me short to the point and mm -hmm. gave you the information that you needed that was relevant to you didn't do all the fluff of all this extra stuff that doesn't pertain to you and she was knowledgeable of not just your system but how it responded to the other systems and how 
the, like the different responses we would get, like, you know, Commerce Hub was difficult about a couple things. And she's like, here's what you have to say to them to, to get through, to break through this barrier. And it was, mm-hmm. it was so smooth. And I, I really, truly enjoyed working with her on that project and um, the efficiency of it all. Like, like I said, I've done this so many times and that was by far the best experience yeah. I've had. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that experience. Um, Natalie, I don't know if you know this about her, but she's probably one of our more senior implementation people on our team, and she's been doing it for years and years and years. So her her knowledge base is incredible uh, when it comes to integration and that kind of stuff. I love it. And then also with the sales process, kind of like that you enjoyed that. Um, so we're actually partners with both ShipStation and Commerce Hub. So our strategy is more of like an inbound strategy. Mm-hmm. Um, so our, our sales guys are more like, hey, they're looking to have a conversation with you because we don't really do outbound. Um, so anytime they have a conversation, someone that has actually had an interest in our product. So glad you enjoyed that process too. It makes it less pushy and more like, hey, how can we help you type of thing? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm definitely going to pass that message along to Natalie too, just so, you know, just Great. to boost her up a little bit more, give her some positive feedback. Please um, do. Please do. Yeah. Anybody that she reports to, please let them know. Mm-hmm. Glowing recommendation. And then the last question kind of to uh, bookend everything is kind of like, how will integration help your business? And then what are the future trends and and things that you're seeing um, with with the commerce landscape as well? So it's it's drastically changes. We honestly haven't even had to think about the entire Costco sale since it's been going on. It's it's concluding. Um, I still got about another week or two on it. And we have not had to think about it. It's everything just flows and that is the ideal situation is um, for us, if we don't have to do anything, any interception on anything, it's been great. I would say the only um, thing that I would want to change is like cancellations. When cancellations come through, I would love it where if Commerce Hub gets the cancellation, there's a way that it can automatically come back through ShipStation without us needing to be involved in that piece. Mm-hmm. Um, And the future, I think that uh, for us, we're definitely looking to, uh, currently I've got a lot of stops. So if an order comes in, it goes through one carrier into one system and then another carrier Mm -hmm. takes it to another. Um, So uh, in the the near future, I'm gonna be looking to start eliminating some of those stops and make it a little more one-to-one ratio. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. Yeah, well, that that's pretty much all the questions on my end. So uh, I know you guys, we're actually in Canada, if you didn't know. So I know American Thanksgiving and then the holiday shopping season is a little less than two weeks away now. So uh, I wish you all the best in that season and hopefully, yeah, everything goes smoothly. Fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day before uh, that holiday yeah. shopping season. Apologize for, I apologize for my tardiness here. Yes. Oh, back no, back. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.